Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Bob Varro and I'm here at Varro Production Studio in Amsterdam. And today I want to show you a very easy tip on how to easily transform your MIDI into an actual audio file. You might know the answer already, but there's actually two ways to do this. One is uh, bounce selection as it is in uh, Studio One. And the other one is actually to to go and print that audio onto a separate track. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do these two options because with one of them I was struggling a little bit recently to find exactly how to do it. I was running into, into a particular issue and maybe on your end as well you might have had this too but it's just a quick and easy fix. So first of all, as you can see here I have my first channel here has the Reason Rack plugin as you see here and then the other one is uh, the BBC Symphony Orchestra which is actually a free plugin and both sound great so the first one that I have here is the reason loop with a just a standard loop that I put together really quickly <laughs> But as you can see, there is no MIDI here in Studio One. So what we want to do to print that audio is actually very easy. Uh, so first of all, we create another audio track. Audio track, just one. You give it the color that you want to give it. And then here is the important one. You want to make sure that it is also a stereo. And this might sound very logical to you, but I started with a mono track and you, I'll do this just to show you in as an example. Uh, input doesn't really matter for now. So I created this audio track and I was looking like, how can I get this audio from reason to this um, audio track here and I couldn't find a way to do it because I was looking here on the inputs and there was nothing showing up and I was like oh my god how do I do this but it's actually very simple you don't need a uh, mono track which sounds logical but then eventually if you click on this little button here it will turn into stereo or if you go and create a track you'll also see the option here to create a stereo track you'll see that in the input there is another option that shows up with instruments and here you can just easily select reason or any other instrument that you have here in this section you can also see it here on the left instruments and you select reason okay and now it's just very easy what I do and what I prefer is to actually mute this um, channel put it in record enable because otherwise the volume is going to be louder than the original twice because you're basically listening to two times the same thing but but we can do it just as a practice and you'll see that whenever you play this it shows up in both of them so you can mute this one this one is still okay or you can just leave it in solo and you hit the record button all right and once you're done you can just remove the last part and you have your loop there you go so now you can just mute this one you can listen back and there you go you don't have to once your sound and once you've dialed in all your uh, knobs and done all your tweaking you can just get rid of the plugin or you can also just right click and disable the plugin so it saves some of your, your CPU power and that's it and then obviously the other option that most of you know but uh, but to be honest this was the only option I could find online but I couldn't really find any other option to actually print the audio from a plugin where you don't have any uh, MIDI regions uh, here but then the other option is actually very simple you can right click on the MIDI go to events and then click on bounce selection or as you can see here there is a shortcut command B and once you do that it will transform your well I had some strings here if you want to listen to it first Right, 
Command B, boom, easy as that. All right, so that's the other option. Uh, but this, you can only do this whenever you have MIDI programmed. Uh, and if not, if you're, for example, working with Reason or any other plugin where you're working with something that loops, such as this one, you can just easily create another audio track, select as your input, make sure it's the same. Like if it's a mono instrument, you can make a mono track. If it's a stereo instrument, make sure to create a stereo audio track because otherwise it won't show up. And then here you select instrument, Reason or whatever other plugin that you would love to print and it's as easy as that. All right, guys, that was it for uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions or other ways to do this, you're more than welcome to comment them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.